from around the globe, it's theCUBE, with digital coverage of AWS reInvent 2020, sponsored by Intel, AWS, and our community partners. Welcome to theCUBE's coverage of AWS reInvent 2020, the digital version. I'm Lisa Martin, and I'm joined by a couple of guests from Unisys. Please welcome Anupam Sahai, the VP and Cloud CTO. Anupam, great to have you on the program. Thanks for joining me today. Great to be here, Lisa. And Anupri, or Anu Ramraj, VP of Cloud Services. Anu, welcome, great to have you on as well. Yeah, great to be here in this virtual AWS reInvent. Great. Thank you for having very, us. Very, very socially distanced. We're following all the guidelines here. Anu, let's start <laughs> with you. I'd love to get just kind of a, you know, a, a vision of the AWS Unisys partnership. I know you guys are uh, advanced consulting partner, MSP. Tell me about that partnership. Absolutely, Lisa. Um, we see our um, clients on a cloud journey, which we accelerate with Unisys Cloud Services and AWS partnership is a big piece of that. So um, um, again, um, we, the three in a row, we have been rated an AWS MSP partner, come out very, very highly from those um, MSP audit. Um, our, um, uh, and uh, we're investing in multiple competencies across the board as well. So, and we work very closely with AWS in terms of innovating in sharing our platform, Cloud Forte for Roadmap, in looking at what our customers uh, looking around the corner, what services could be co-developed. So uh, we're looking at some uh, potential IoT engagements jointly with AWS as well. Um, so we're always co-inventing and it's a great partnership with AWS. Excellent. And let's stick with you following on hybrid cloud journey. You mentioned the Cloud Forte platform. I wanted to understand what that platform is, how you're co-developing that with AWS and how your customers are benefiting. Um, absolutely, Lisa. So um, um, every year, um, Unisys does a cloud barometer study across thousands of our clients, and um, and uh, we got some interesting takeaways from that. Um, essentially, um, two thirds of our clients um, that have started this cloud journey believe they didn't fully realize the benefits out of that, and um, up to um, fifty three percent of the. Um, the respondents said they needed some help with cloud security. And uh, this is where I, we believe that Unisys Cloud Services um, has a strong uh, viewpoint and, and can align their AWS um, journey, no matter where what challenges they're facing, whether it's budgetary challenges on optimizing AWS and whether it's getting IT operations right when you move your applications to AWS. Um, and is it is it getting the the right DevSecOps models established? So no matter where clients are in their journey, we look to accelerate with our set of solutions and services. And we're very proud about the uh, the fact that we um, respond very quickly to make sure our clients can innovate and achieve the business outcomes that they need. For example, with California State University, um, we were able to work with them on their AWS journey, fully set up an AWS lake and um, analytics on top of it, so we could actually predict and influence graduation rates for students. Um, our scores um, um, are uh, higher than any of our common because of the, the outcome that we deliver for our clients. And, and it's really about business outcomes and a Forte platform, which helps us drive those outcomes. And Ipam, do you want to add on with our Cloud Forte platform? Sure, um, Anu. Uh, so as, as Anu was saying, Cloud Forte platform provides a set of capabilities that allows us to uh, create and offer highly differentiated services with Unisys IP. And as was mentioned earlier, our cloud solutions are, are able to help customers no matter where they are in their, in their cloud journeys, whether it's a, a greenfield opportunity where, they, where the customers are intending to move to the cloud, or if it's a brownfield opportunity where they already have adopted the cloud and are looking to manage and operate and optimize their deployments. Cloud Forte platform and our cloud solutions are able to provide a customized solution for that customer context to, to really deliver the solution that addresses some of the pain points that, that Anu talked about. The key pain points um, really relate to security, to get secured, 
Uh, it also relates to cost optimization and then optimizing the cloud per se, cloud deployment, hybrid cloud deployment is a key requirement. So our Cloud Forte platform helps drives the key use cases, the key pain points that our customers are looking for through a combination of accelerators, the number of Cloud Forte accelerators that enable customers to rapidly provi provision customers and to rapidly migrate to the cloud with guardrails so that they're, they're secure, they're compliant. And then um, we've got the, the Cloud Cloud Forte cloud management platform for ensuring provisioning and, and management and operations along with cost optimization capabilities and AI led operations. So it's a comprehensive suite of services and solutions that addresses the key business outcomes that our customers are are uh, looking for. Outcomes focused is absolutely critical, especially these days. Anu, I wanted to go back to you for a second. You talked about the Unisys barometer study, and I, I like the name of that. When was that done? And I'm just wondering if there are certain things that you saw this year from a customer cloud journey need perspective because of the pandemic that have really influenced that barometer. Great question, um, Lisa. And, um, and the parameter study, the last version of it was done late last year and we're still waiting on the, the ones from this year. So, but we're starting to see um, some of the, the trends uh, that were influenced by the pandemic. We saw a rush to cloud when the pandemic hit because businesses adopt to, to remote workers, to do more digital selling. And, and then um, seeing our CIOs kind of struggle with um, optimizing and maximizing the results um, um, of their cloud spend, right? So, so that's a unique challenge that, that we're seeing based on our client um, interaction. So um, the rush to the cloud and the, the ask for more spend optimization. And in terms of spend optimization, that's an interesting facet because um, uh, it, it, it cuts through multiple angles. It's, it cuts through having the platforms around being able to do um, the right predictions on where your spend is going. And then it also, it's a cross collaborative effort. Uh, FinOps as we see it, we call it as a FinOps service that we bring to our clients. It, it, it's passing with multiple organizations, including finance to sometimes uh, figure out, uh, hey, where will this business be? Where should their spend be? What should be the reserve instance buys, right? So um, combining um, cloud knowledge with financial knowledge and organizational and business knowledge, and that's the service that we bring to our clients with our FinOps services. Um, Lisa, great question about how how is the pandemic and the current business climate affecting our operating models? Um, like we said, there's an increased ask for FinOps, there's an increased ask for security ops because security threats have only amplified. And then the entire cloud ops model, I think um, hybrid cloud operations, it, it's, uh, it's prompted us to rethink a lot of how do we do IT operations and, um, and uh, we're investing a lot in terms of um, automation and then underpinning that by AI led operations. So um, Anupam talked about the cloud management platform, um, making sure we've got robust pro, pro, uh, automation and processes so, which are repeatable around all the way from uh, just doing provisioning to data operations to optimization. Just making all of that robust and repeatable um, is such a value add to clients because then they can, the CISOs can uh, sleep at night knowing that everything is taken care of and uh, the, CI, um, the CIOs can rest, be rest assured that, hey, they're not going to get that um, AWS bill that's going to make them hit the roof. So making sure we've got the right uh, checks and balances and approval flow is all a part of our cloud management platform. And Anupam, I know you're really passionate about AI and the role that it plays in operations and, and the entire cloud management platform and cloud forte platform. So um, your thoughts, Anupam? Yes, Anu, thank you. Uh, so yeah, AI-led operations is really part of the bigger question and the pain point that customers are faced with, which is I've reached the cloud. Now, how do I optimize and get benefits from the cloud. And the benefits is around, you know, uh, a utility for on-demand um, access to resources, uh, this cost optimization potential and, and the security, uh, cloud security potential that uh, if not managed properly can really blow up in the face. And unfortunately, 
you know, that's been the case. On the AI ops-led uh, operation side, that's again a huge fertile area where Unisys invest, is investing a lot of uh, lot of IP and creating a lot of differentiation. And the objective there is to as customers adopt Cloud Forte as they adopt Unisys cloud services, they're able to take advantage of uh, cost optimization capabilities, which essentially looks at historical usage and predicts future usage based on a number of AI, artificial intelligence and machine learning te technologies that, that is able to give you predictions that are otherwise very hard to, hard to get. And uh, in the cloud environment, because of the sheer velocity, volume, and variety of the data, doing that in a manual fashion is very, very hard. So automated machine learning driven approach is very productive, is very effective. And you know some of the outcomes that we've achieved is, is just amazing. amazing. Uh, we've been able to save up to 25% of infrastructure costs through AI-led operations. About 40% of infrastructure incidents have been uh, reduced due to root cause analysis. Uh, so, and, and up to 35% of mean time to resolution improvements in time. So huge customer benefits driven by AI-led operations, AI ML approaches to solving the problem. Anupam, if I could stick with you for a second. Big numbers that you just talked about, and we talked a few minutes ago about outcomes, and it's all about outcomes. Right now, with this rush to cloud, as, as Anu said, and we talk about this on theCUBE all the time, we've seen that the last eight months. There is an mm -hmm. acceleration of this digital transformation. I'm just curious, Anupam, from your perspective as the VP and CTO of cloud, how are you, what, what are some of the things that you advise customers to do if they need to rush to the cloud to one, just, you know, move their business quickly and, and not have it stay on life support? What are some of the things that you advise them to do when they're in this, maybe a few months ago when they were in the beginning of this? Yeah, that's, that's a very interesting question. And a lot of our clients are faced with that question as they either, they're already in the cloud or they're deciding to migrate to the cloud. And, and the whole journey, customer journeys for either stepping on the cloud or managing and operating the optimizing the cloud deployments is very key. So if you look at the, the market research that's out there and, and what we hear from our customers, the key challenges are really, really around how do I migrate to the cloud without uh, facing a lot of bottlenecks and challenges and how do I overcome them? So that's the key pain, pain point. And again, cloud forte advisory services and the cloud services that we offer allows customers to take out, uh, to work with us and we work with the customer to ensure that they're able to do that. And, and then rapidly migrating to the cloud, managing and operating their operations, the hybrid cloud operations in an optimized fashion is a huge challenge. How do they migrate? How do they migrate with security and compliance not being compromised? Once they're in the cloud, ensuring cloud security uh, is and compliance is, is maintained, ensuring that the cost structure is, is optimized so that they're not paying more once they move to the cloud compared to on-premises. And, and then taking advantage of the whole cloud deployments to ensure you're looking at data, harnessing the data, to derive meaningful business outcomes. So it's the entire end-to-end -end customer journey that needs to be looked at, optimized, and that's where Unisys comes in with our Cloud Forte platform, where we work with the customers to enhance the journeys. And in this case, I want to mention CSU, which is uh, the California State University, where they approach Unisys to really work with them to deliver um, cloud services by enhancing the, 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 the objective was to enhance the student learning experience to, to enable adoption of, um, of the technology by the students, but also to achieve uh, better performance, better adoption, uh, cost savings, and we were able to deliver about 30% better performance, uh, help realize about 33% cost savings and 40% plus growth in adoption and this was for about half a million student bodies, the 50,000 plus faculty staff 
spread across 23 campuses. So deploying, optimizing, and, and managing the infrastructure is something that Unisys does, uh, does that, and this is an example of that. I know you want to add anything to that? Um, absolutely, Anupam, and it's um, you tell it well, and uh, it's um, it's it's also securing, making sure security is the journey. Um, it's uh, it's so key for uh, hybrid cloud. Um, um, and at least I'm sure you're aware of the Unisys tagline is securing tomorrow. So who better? Uh, so we really, really take that really, really uh, seriously in terms of making sure we secure um, clients' cloud journeys. And um, you probably heard the statistic from her about 80% of uh, cloud breaches are due to misconfiguration. And this could have been prevented. And, um, and it, there's, an, there's an element of the, the human angle in there. We believe strongly that we can automate using our platform. So we've got 2000 plus security policies, uh, which makes sure, which again, enables our clients to be compliant as well. So no matter what compliance standards, uh, we've got several of our clients, um, for example, in the financial sector um, that, um, that are hosted on AWS and that we manage. And uh, they have to, especially in the US, they have to comply with NYDFS, the New York Department of Financial Services, and uh, um, making sure that they're complying with all the standards out there, uh, which is NIST++ in this case. So, um, um, that's part of what we do in enabling those journeys. And then just keeping up with the rate of change, like um, um, An Anupam was talking about the, the variety and velocity of the data and, and the rate of change of the applications out there, um, especially as businesses react to the, the pandemic and have to cope with the changing business paradigms out there. They have to be quick. Um, so we've got um, um, a drug maker, one of the, the most premium drug makers in the US, uh, who is who is existed on AWS, and uh, they are racing for the cure, and they are always looking at how do they get drugs quicker to the market, and that means accelerating applications. And we know that um, based on um, research by the Dora um, study that uh, if you adopt DevOps paradigms, you can accelerate 200 times faster than if you didn't. But then you have to underpin that with security as well. So really helping this adopt DevSecOps in all their deployments to AWS so that they can really race for the cure. That's the kind of business outcomes that we really uh, are really, really proud to drive for our clients. Excellent. Anupam, let's wrap this up with you. We've just got about 30 seconds left. Sticking on the security front, we, it's such a huge topic right now. It has been for a long time, but even more so during these unprecedented times. When you're talking with customers, what makes Unisys unique from a security perspective? So first thing is to understand what it takes to solve the hybrid cloud security problem. Like you said earlier, that's the biggest pain point that we hear from customers, from our clients. And it's all over the market research, all the breaches that have happened, like the Zoom breach that happened that compromised about half a million um, you know, user logins. And then um, there was also the the Marriott breach where about half a billion users' names and um, credentials were leaked out. Leaked out. So it's, it's, it's very easy for customers, potential customers to become like a headline. And our, our job really as a company is to make sure that they are not the next Capital One or the next Marriott um, showing up in the newspaper. So we kind of look at their customer deployment uh, situation and we put together a, a comprehensive end-to-end -end hybrid cloud solution hybrid cloud security and compliance solution that includes look, securing their cloud infrastructure, their cloud workloads in terms of applications that they, they might have secured, and also to look at securing their applications, which may or may not be running on the cloud. So we kind of take a very holistic approach using our homegrown solutions and partner solutions to create a comprehensive, robust hybrid cloud solution that really fits the customer context. And, and so we, we are essentially a trusted advisor for our, for our clients to create the solution, which again, as I said, Cloud Forte Assure, which is a cloud security posture management solution. We have a cloud workload protection solution, and then Stealth, which is a full stack security solution, 
if combined together with the other Cloud Forte platform components. And we wrap this up in a, in a managed security services offering that allows us customers to, to have complete peace of mind as we take care of uh, assessment, remediation, monitoring, and then continuous posture, posture management. Anu, do you want to add anything to that? I think in terms of closing, I think um, like you covered it well, we've got platform components and services that run the gamut of the, of the life cycle uh, from migrations to, to transformations. And um, one thing that I think uh, in terms of outcomes that these um, and the service built around it have really helped us um, drive is, um, um, is kind of responding, especially to our public sector clients. We're very passionate about uh, enabling cloud journeys for our public sector clients. And um, we'll take the example of Georgia Technology. Um, so this is the GTA, is the technology agency for all um, our services, uh, 14 of the agencies in Georgia. And uh, many of these public sector agencies had to quickly um, adopt cloud to deal with remote workers, whether it was BDI, whether it was chatbots on cloud. Um, it's, it's, it was, a, it was a, a brand new world out there, the new normal. Right. And right. Uh, it was um, yeah, just using the cloud management platform that Anupam was uh, referring to. We were able to kind of take them from um, taking um, three months plus to be able to provision workloads to um, to less than 30 minutes to provision the workloads. And this is this is across hybrid cloud. So, and it, this is Excellent. with all that, the, That's uh, a big outcome, especially in this time where things were changing so quickly. Well, I wish we had more time guys, because I can tell you have a lot more that you can share. So you're just going to have to come back. And I like that the tagline securing tomorrow, adding onto what Anupam said, so your customers don't become the next headline. I think they would all appreciate that. Thank you both so much for joining me on theCUBE today and sharing what's the latest with um, UNICEF. We appreciate your time. Thank you. Thank you, Lisa. Thank you for having us. All right, my pleasure. For my guests, I'm Lisa Martin and you're watching theCUBE.